In this video, we'll explore how you can get started with the MATLAB support package for Arduino hardware by reading digital and analog inputs and writing digital and PWM outputs to the pins on your Arduino board, all through MATLAB. The first thing you'll want to do is to connect to your Arduino board. Because Arduino is open source, you can use Arduino compatible devices like the SparkFun breadboard I have here. It uses the same instruction set, microcontroller, and pinout as the Arduino Uno. To connect to it, I can use the Arduino function and give it the port name and the board. If you don't know the port, you can find it from the device manager on Windows. The Arduino function returns a variable that represents the Arduino board. It has properties for the available pins and libraries. By looking at its methods, you can get a list of all the functions that work with this type of variable. Let's examine some of the basic ones. My Arduino device is connected to a breadboard with several simple electronic components on it. I'll start with input devices. Here, I have a button wired to digital pin 2. I can read the value of that pin with read digital pin. And it reads high. That is because the button has a pull-up resistor. When I push the button and run the command again, the pin is now tied to ground and it reads low. One of the great things about MATLAB is that it is a full programming language that allows you to build interactive tools. I've built a simple UI that continuously calls the read digital pin function and lets me see the state of the button. A button only has two states, but many input devices and sensors can return a range of values. If you want to read from a temperature sensor, a flex sensor, or a distance sensor, you'll probably need to use an analog input. This board has six analog input pins. Here I have a potentiometer tied to analog pin 0. I can use the read voltage function to get its value, which will vary between 0 and 5 volts depending on the position of the knob. As I rotate the knob, I see that it reads a different value. Once again, I've built an app that can continuously read the value and return the voltage as it changes. So that's how you can read simple digital and analog inputs from the physical world. What about controlling the physical world with outputs? Here, I have an LED wired to digital pin 3 on the board. Just as you can read a digital pin, you can also write to one. Writing a high value turns the light on, and a low value turns the light off. And of course, you can also build apps to do this. You can dim an LED by powering it with a lower voltage. This board does not have the capacity for analog output, but a digital pin can simulate an analog output by using a PWM signal, which basically just turns on and off very fast. MATLAB allows you to specify either the duty cycle, which is the percentage of time the signal is high, or the effective voltage of the signal between 0 and 5 volts. Here, 5 volts is fully on, where a 1 volt signal is much dimmer. Here I have a short section of code that iteratively writes a range of voltages from 0 to 5 and then from 5 back down to 0. When I run it, you can see the LED get brighter and then dimmer. And of course I've also created an app to interactively control the PWM voltage with a slider. So 
So that's how you can use analog and digital pins to create digital inputs and outputs, analog inputs, and PWM outputs in MATLAB through an Arduino device. The last component on my breadboard is a piezo buzzer. This has the ability to play musical tones of varying frequency as a result of a signal passing through it. In MATLAB, the play tone function can be used to specify the pin, the frequency, and the duration. For example, if we choose 440 Hz for 2 seconds, we get a pleasant A4, a musical tuning standard. And if you know the frequencies of certain notes, you can compose your own music. Here's some code that can play a well-known tune. And here's an app that I made for playing the speaker at various tones. MATLAB has extensive documentation on how to get started building and programming interactive apps like this. So to review, we've looked at a number of simple commands to get inputs from an Arduino into MATLAB and send outputs to the Arduino. These same commands can be used to communicate with a wide variety of other devices and sensors beyond the simple ones we've shown here.